Hello, <laughs> hello everybody. Everybody, how is everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing great today. Himaram again. Welcome to this beautiful show, this beautiful investigation study, this beautiful source. And here is uh, Dr. Shabir Ali. He's going to teach us the most important study for Christians and the source for Christians and for Muslims. This is the best one from... Shabir Ali, who is the author of 101 Contradictions in the Bible, which is found in Amazon, in Muslim sites and everywhere, he is telling us he found something which is not contradictory, which is good for Muslims, for Christians, we Christians, with, wow, wow, I'm telling you, it is a wow moment for me. So, Dr. Shabir Ali is going to teach us about the Bible? Yeah. Welcome, welcome everybody. By Dr. Shabir Ali, let's go and listen from Dr. Shabir Ali. Ah, here you go, here you go. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Bring you another book review, and today a very interesting book. It's this one. It's called. Come, peace be with you. I'm your brother in faith, Shabir Ali. I bring you another book review, and today a very interesting book. It's this one. It's called Q, the earliest gospel by John. Yes, Q, the earliest gospel by John Cooper, Jim Paul, John Cooper. The earliest gospel, an introduction to the original story and saying of Jesus. The original story and saying of Jesus by dog. Dr. Shabir Ali. Well, listen. John Kloppenborg. Now, uh, John Kloppenborg uh, is uh, a renowned scholar in, yeah. in the field of Q studies. Yes, he's a very renowned a a scholar, a very famous, renowned, great man of name. John. What is that? Klopper. Kloppenberg, Kloppenberg, hey, I don't know, Kloppen, I don't understand himself, let alone his name, Mr. John, he has a, a lovely name, Mr. John, the earliest, hey, listen, this is the earliest, the original, the authentic, the original saying of Jesus, listen, please. Uh, was professor at the University of Toronto when I was a student there, and I would have been glad to study under him. Uh, but alas, my uh, department was in uh, tafsir, uh, Quranic interpretation, and this was an entirely different uh, field, and I did not get the chance to uh, study yeah. under him. Uh, nonetheless, uh, at least I can read his book and uh, uh, get some of his uh, knowledge. Yeah. Uh, now, this is a very interesting book uh, because of its, con its, its subject matter and contents. Q. What is Q? Q, the letter Q, stands for, stands for the German word Quelle, which means source. And uh, scholars have given this name to a document uh, which has not been uh, discovered as a physical document but has uh, to be reconstructed and has been reconstructed uh, to uh, as much. Uh, so it's original source, but it has not been found. It has not been found. No, nobody found it, but reconstructed it. Reconstructed it, that like his prophet, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he con reconstructed the <laughs> Jibril and, and, and uh, the Moses, uh, Suleiman, standing in a stick for one year, died there, and his wife, his and everybody didn't know it. No, 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 nobody knew it. But the termites, they eat, they eat the, the stick of him, and the stick, the king's stick. And it was broken. And then he fell down and they know he was dead. For one year standing dead. 
<laughs> reconstruction. Yes, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, the extent that scholars can reconstruct it uh, from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. So I may as well start at the beginning. So in the uh, Christian Bible, there are four Gospels. Uh, they're called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, of them, three are called synoptic Gospels because they can be viewed together. Their stories are so similar, and the general outline of the stories, uh, uh, the, the very outline of the Gospels, like sequentially we can see the events unfolding one after another, uh, uh, is similar. That general outline is similar among the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Well, and not only uh, is the sequence so similar, but also verbatim, the wording is so very similar that scholars have had to posit uh, a, a, a sources for, for these and, and to see, think about the literary relationship uh, between uh, these or among these three Gospels. So either the three of them are based on a singular other document or uh, one is copied from another and, and so on. So uh, John Ploppenborg in his book uh, goes into great detail uh, to ask, how do we know that there was a cue and uh, his answer is that uh, uh, these three synoptic gospels um, must have a literary rela relationship uh, among yes. them. Yes. And the best they must have. They must have. These three synoptic gospels, they must have. I think they must have something. I know, I know, they must have something. Even if this is not written, even if this is not found anywhere, they must have something. And I'm going to reconstruct. And out of the imagination of my evil mind, I'm going to get another new gospel. Ho, 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 ho. Best explanation for that literary relationship is that uh, Matthew and, and Luke are uh, using Mark as a source. But in addition to Mark's gospel, they're also using another document, which uh, has been lost uh, in terms oh. of a physical document. Yeah, they use Mark. And they also they used another, but we don't know which one. We don't know, man. Shut up and learn. Shut up and learn. There was another source, but it was lost. Maybe the ship eaten. <laughs> the ship or the goat. Maybe this time, no, this is a Christian. This the Quran is was eaten by the ship. But this one was eaten by, maybe by the pigs, by the swine, the pigs. That's what the Muslim Jesus is coming to kill pigs. Oh, Lord. Oh, come on. Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. Uh, but Matthew and Luke has uh, derived uh, sayings of Jesus, mostly, uh, from uh, that document. And because the name of the document is not known, the German scholars have given it the name Quala, which means source, and for short uh, in English. So this book, which is having in his hand, is called Quala, which is, means source, which was in the beginning when Jesus was teaching. It was there, but it was got lost. Nobody know where, where it is. No, nobody know. It's lost. Cannot be found anywhere. Aha, uh -huh. but uh, <laughs> we just simply refer to this as Q. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Kloppenborg uh, points out that uh, the term gospel uh, can be uh, applied to the gospel Q because uh, it is a unified document uh, with a particular orientation and uh, set of beliefs. So just as the, the Gospels have been... All right, here. Here is the, the thing. This cue, which this Mr. John got it out of his head, we can call it Gospel, even if it was not there, because it was lost. It was lost. There was nothing. And now he created in his head, he called it Q, and now we can call it the Gospel of Q. <laughs> <laughs> called uh, Gospels, mainly in retrospect, uh, the Q Gospel can also be called a Gospel uh, also in retrospect. So what the scholars have done, uh, scholars before uh, John Kloppenborg, such as uh, James Robinson, uh, is that they have reconstructed from Matthew and Luke 
the the Q sayings, the sayings that they have derived from the Q gospel. And uh, John Kloppenborg has given his own version of that Q gospel uh, in the few pages. As we can see here, not that many pages make up what is called the Q gospel, uh, but nonetheless, it is a very important and significant uh, discovery. So we get something like the famous uh, Lord's Prayer. Uh, in the, when I went to school, we recited a version of the Lord's Prayer uh, that uh, comes from... When he went to school, the Islamic school, he went to the Madrasa or Islamic University, and then he recited the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven. Ha <laughs> ha he went there. He went there. Where? To the University of Mecca. And then he opened the book and he recited our father. God is their father. God is father. How deceptive, devilish, evil is this man? You got it. You Muslims, you have been deceived and you know that. For sure, you know that. You Muslims know that this man is deceiving the world. You see, this man is deceiving my brothers and sisters, friends. He is deceiving you. He's as a deceiver of his, as a master deceiver after his prophet. The prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like you call it, he deceived the world. And he sent billions of people into hell fire hell fire the children of darkness the children of perdition no muslim can be saved without jesus christ no muslim so he is lying he is deceiving okay let me ask you muslim if you are true a true muslim i'm gonna ask you a question have you gone to your madrasa and study the Lord's Prayer, the Christian's Prayer? Please leave your comment. Have you studied the Christian's Lord's Prayer? And you say, Our Father who art in heaven. Did you say to God, Our Father? Allah said, I am not a father to anybody. Didn't Allah say, You don't listen to Allah or you, whom you listen? This man or Allah, your God. Allah says something. And you're this deceiving man, say something. Listen. Important and significant uh, discovery. So we get something like the famous uh, Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, when I went to school, we recited a version of the Lord's Prayer uh, that uh, comes from Matthew's Gospel. Uh, but Luke's version has it, uh, or at least the reconstructed Q version goes like this. Uh, when you pray, say, Father, may your name be kept holy, let your reign come. Give us our daily bread today and cancel our debts for us as we too have canceled for those in debt to us. And do not put us to the test. Now, um, the longer version, which is found in, in Matthew's Gospel and with an addition found in some later manuscripts, uh, says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thine kingdom come. Then will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallowed be, uh, uh, lead us not into temptation, uh, and uh, deliver, but deliver us from evil. Uh, for thine is the power and the glory uh, forever and ever. Amen. Okay. So we see a short of. So you uh, Muslims recited this. Any Muslim who recited in the school, I want you to call me. I want you to email me. I want you to discuss with you. Any Muslim who recited. The, the Lord's prayer, uh, prayer in the madrasa, in the mosque, in the university, Islamic university, please contact me. Please, I want to know. If anybody saw that, I want to know. Version here, which is uh, derived from a Q gospel, right from the very inception, instead of our father, it just simply says father, and that's the version uh, that is found in Luke's gospel. Now, when uh, the sayings of Q are numbered, as uh, Dr. Kloppenberg uh, points out, the numbering uh, is, it follows the chapter and verse numbers of Luke's Gospel. 
um, because it is thought that uh, Luke's gospel preserves the sequence uh, probably uh, better than Matthew does. It seems that Matthew combined a lot of these uh, statements uh, into a longer discourse, uh, which uh, Matthew uh, gives as the Sermon on, on the Mount. And so we must go back uh, to Luke often for uh, the original um, the, the, the disjointed uh, statements. And uh, we find in, in the um, SQ sayings, uh, one which uh, many Muslims are fond of quoting, uh, that's the one that is uh, also found in Matthew's Gospel as part of the Sermon on the Mount, uh, where Jesus, on whom be peace, uh, says, uh, do not uh, try to correct your brother where you have faults yourself. So uh, Q6, uh, 41 to 42, um, which means that's in the Gospel according to Luke by this very chapter and verse number, um, it says this, And why do you see the speck in your brother's eye, but the beam in your own eye you overlook? How can you say to your brother, let me th uh, throw out the speck from your eye and just uh, look at the beam in your own eye? Uh, hypocrite, first throw out from your own eye the beam, and then you will see clearly to throw out the speck in your brother's eye. So that's a very interesting uh, statement, uh, warning us against hypocrisy and uh, encouraging us to see our own faults before we start trying to correct uh, the faults uh, of others. Now, because the physical Q document has not been uh, found, um, and, and it only can be reconstructed from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, John Kloppenborg goes into great uh, detail uh, to show that uh, the Q uh, document must have existed as a written uh, document at one time. Uh, as uh, part of his proof, he points out that uh, John the Baptist uh, has a long a saying which is found in both Matthew and uh, Luke, and which obviously were derived from a common source, which the scholars identify here as Q. Now, in that long discourse, there's something like 28 words, and 27 of them are common between Matthew and Luke. The only difference is one word, chi, meaning and, a very common Greek word, uh, that uh, it changes the emphasis only slightly, and hardly alters the meaning. So to get all of those 27 other words uh, exactly in the same sequence, um, uh, the same words, uh, that shows that the two documents, Matthew and Luke, are copied from a common source, and in this case, Q. And now, can we be sure that we have the entire Q? Well, no, because we only have what Matthew and Luke uh, have copied from, uh, from their source. Uh, however, Matthew and Luke, as we can see from the treatment of Mark, uh, have uh, either Matthew or Luke has uh, copied Mark mostly. Only a little bit of Mark is not uh, found either in Matthew or uh, Luke. And so by looking at Matthew or Luke, we can uh, have uh, great confidence that we have the most of uh, Q either in Luke or in uh, Matthew, or and often in both. Uh, and uh, since uh, we can see a unified uh, theology coming out of that, uh, the reconstruction, we have a good sense of what was Q before the Gospels that we now have. And so a Q, the document Q was written sometime in the 50s. This was about 20 years after Jesus on whom be peace, whereas our present Gospels were written in the 70s and later. Uh, so we have uh, from 20 years before the present Gospels, at least uh, a document which is now known and which represents an earlier all right, uh, he's bubbling. Uh, he's uh, about uh, 30 years, uh, 70 years. You believe your hadith, which was written 300 years after the death of your false prophet? Your false prophet, 300, 400 years after his death, go al Bukhari around the jungles of the Arabian, look for and collect it millions and millions of hadiths and he threw into the trash and, and selected only four or six percent six and four percent yeah, we don't have this paper uh -huh. we reconstruct he reconstructed okay i don't have anything because there is no source ah uh -huh. i reconstructed it it is called the q gospel can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Now, 
let us let me go to the bible now here is remember isaiah 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 29 i told you what god said to us what we do in the book of isaiah uh, uh 28 go to 28 rather how do you study the bible 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 before god whom shall he whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine them that are weaned from milk from little baby you have to come up as baby to learn from god not with your posting lying deception come precept must be upon precept precept upon precept lion upon a lion here a little and there a little aha uh -huh. and then 13 go to 13 but the word of the lord was unto them unto these devilish scholars muslim scholars and also called john or gon or whatever liars and deceivers of the european people origin who call themselves and lie about the word of god but the word of god the lord was up unto them precept upon precept precept upon precept lion upon lion lion upon lion here a little and there a little there is nothing we call matthew by itself is that we put together and learn because god put his word is here a little and there a little a little bit in matthew aha uh -huh. a little bit in mark aha uh -huh. a little bit in in, in john uh -huh. a little bit in that we learn that way and that's why there are four gospels oh they do they are not identical if they were identical oh they copy each other these are pl plagiarizing each other these are no true prophets because they are plagiarizing if there is a little different oh he this one is different this one is different this is different there is no don't trust it it is lies lies deception oh but the lord is wiser than this idiot people the lord god is wiser than the God of Israel is wiser than this idiot people here a little and there a little that they might go and fall backward fall backward like this scholar this scholar and the book itself like John S. Klopeng Borg Boring Mr. John Boring Mr. John Boring and this man, they fall down because they don't know how it is written. The word of the Lord is written how? How was it written? Here a little, there a little, and they fall backward. Backward. In the back they will be broken and be broken and be snared, snared into hell fire and taken thrown into hell fire they will be thrown unless they repent unless he repents unless he comes to the lord and repent this muslim scholar and this john clopping or john boring himself borg john borg will be born in hell and all of them will be thrown into hellfire but the lord is when matthew did not copy from anybody mark did not copy from anybody john did not copy from anybody god gave them and whatever they he gave them they gave us they wrote down whatever the lord a holy spirit inspired them the holy spirit inspired them and aha uh -huh, and they wrote the gospel of jesus under the guidance of holy 
the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. Under the guidance of the Spirit of God, they wrote down. Okay, this is what the Bible says. Knowing this first, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is any of any private interpretation. You cannot even interpret for yourself, let alone uh, uh, Q, Q. Uh -huh, we don't know. There was no book. Uh, we, we built. For the prophecy came not in all the time by the will of man, but by holy men. Holy men, Matthew, Mark, John. Look. Holy men, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Spirit. Who is the writer? The Holy Spirit. They are pens, the pens of God. They were the pens of God. And God guided them, and they wrote down, and we have to combine and study at the word of God. Not the word of Mark. Not the word of Matthew, not the word of Luke, not the word of John, but the word of God. The word of God. Why? Because the author was the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, moving, controlling, guiding this man. They wrote down, Q, Q, you're going to be cued. You're going to make a cue in the heaven and in, in, in hellfire. Make a queue in hellfire. They're gonna, this guy will be queued in hell to be burned, burned forever and ever, unless they repent, unless they come and apologize to Jesus and say, Lord, I messed up, I lied, I deceived people, now forgive me, have mercy on me. Have mercy, because Jesus is kind. God is kind. Our God is a loving, a passionate, merciful God. You have open door. Okay? The door is open to return and repent. You, bearded man, thief, deceiver, you return to God. Otherwise, hell is waiting for you. And your Muhammad is in queue now. He is in queue. <laughs> He's in queue in, 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 in hell. He's waiting his, his, his turn. He's going to be thrown, thrown down. And the liars and deceivers will be thrown down. May the Lord richly bless you. We believe in the truth of Almighty God. When we trust him and, and uh, uh, you know, expose liars and deceivers and manipulators, yes, we tell you, you Muslim, come out of Islam and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.